let's attempt a TBR game. <laughs> my name is Chloe welcome back to my channel thanks for being here so today I am because I would already said going to attempt to do a TBR game so TBR games are some of my favorite things to watch every month I don't know about you guys but yeah they are literally the things that everyone has the premieres for them and I just love being in the comments and it's just a fun way to see what someone's going to read I am a fairly big mood reader, but at the same time, I do like to have a little bit of structure so I know it helps keep me motivated throughout the month. So I've decided that what better way to have TBR game where I can kind of go with the mood a little bit, but based on prompts, so there's still a structure in there. As you may be able to tell from the setup behind me, my game is going to be inspired by MASH. So I am a child of the 90s and a teenager of the 2000s. So this was something we played quite a lot. For anyone that doesn't know, it's basically a game where you pick a number and you kind of work your way around and eliminate squares from it. And the idea is it's supposed to decide the rest of your life. So you'd normally put things like who you want to marry and who you, where you're going to live and how many kids you'll have and all this type of thing. But the actual initials stand for mansion, apartment, shack, house. And there was a trend a few years ago of sort of bookish mash going around where people would fill in these details with bookish worlds and bookish characters. And I thought, why not turn that into a TBR game? I did, I do want to point out, I did have a check to see if anybody else had done this before. I couldn't see anybody doing it as an actual game. I did see somebody using it to pick their TBR, but that was more writing down names of books they wanted to read and using it that way. This one's going to be a full version with prompts and things like that. I will link the ones I have seen below, but this version, as far as I know, I haven't seen anyone do before. So let's go on to the rules. So basically every single one of these cards on the outside has a prompt on there. I am going to use a random number generator to pick the number that I'm going to use. And basically you start at the top and we count. So say the number is five, we go one, two, three, four, five, and then we take that card out. When, when you get to only one card left in the, in the section you're in, that's your prompt you pick in. I am then going to use slightly twist on it. So normally this would be sort of counted in there, but the way I'm going to do it is at the end and use that same number to work through MASH. And these ones are going to be the same prompts every single month. So we have inspired by what they should be originally. We have mansion. So that's going to be a big book. That needs to be over 500 pages. Apartment. It's going to be a small book. It needs to be under 300, under 200 if I can get it, but I don't have a lot of those on my sort of general TBR. But if I do, it will be. We then have Shack. So Shack is something I would not want to live in. So it's going to be a book that I've been putting off reading. So basically a book that's been on my TBR for quite a while. And then we have House. House is just a nice sort of safe situation. So that is going to be mood read. And that'll be something that I can pick throughout the month. The rest, like I said, I have absolutely no idea what they are. The only thing I do know is I have put two of these in there. And these are plus one. So the plus one cards means that I have to do an extra prompt. So you can see there's five on here. There's potential to be seven. We'll see. Although actually there's potential to be more because also all of these have got colours on there. So as you saw in the plus one cards, they're all different colours of the rainbow. If I get three of any one colour in a month, I then get punishment and I have to do another one. And the way I'll do that is I'll just pick at random from all the rest of the cards I have left that haven't been picked on here. The first thing that I need to do is actually grab two cards from this random pile and add them onto the board. And these are going to be so that if I end up picking a plus one card, this is the prompt for the plus one. And then I have to pick another one randomly from the pile as well for the extra one at the end. So it seems like we're all set up and ready to go. I just need to get a number. So let me grab my computer and I will get the number generator up. So I don't want this number to be too big that it takes me absolutely hours to count it around the board. I also don't want it to be too small. So I've gone from number five to number 15. And the number we've got is 10. Starting with 10, we'll see how this goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna get rid of that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see how this goes. I'm just gonna speed through this now. <laughs> We're very close now on this one, so it's between these two. Oh, I 
and we're getting close on this one as well. We're so close to actually getting a prompt. So, we have our first prompt. See what it is. So that is favourite author. Okay, so this is actually a good one. So a favourite author means that I have to read a book that is by a favourite author that I maybe haven't read yet. Although it can be a reread as well if it needs to be. So actually the thing that I didn't say at the beginning of this is that I do have a couple of books that I need to fit in for various read-alongs or things like that. So first things first actually, let me just check my pre-orders for the month. I know I have quite a few pre-orders coming up in the next couple of months and most of those are by favourite authors. So I've just had a check. My first thought for this was Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid but that doesn't come out till the 27th of the month and I don't want to leave it that late and then be struggling to whether or not I'm going to finish it before the end of the month. What does come out though is a book called The Anthropocene Reviewed which is by John Green and for any of you who don't know he has a podcast which is called The Anthropocene Reviewed. It's a non-fiction. It's kind of half essays and reviews on the random things in life and also half a memoir because he does it through his own stories. I personally find that podcast really if entertaining is the right word but it's just something really interesting to listen to partly to sort of find out more information about there's there's like something about the history of scratch and sniff stickers on there it's the most random collection of things but I find it really interesting to listen to it's now being made as a book so there are all those essays are going to be sort of collected in one book there's a couple of new essays in there as well and also a lot of them have been sort of added to I'm really intrigued about this one coming out it comes out on the 18th I'll be planning on reading it anyway so that is my pick for favourite author. should probably say John Green is one of my favourite authors. I know, sort of, I feel like that's one of those things where everyone loved John Green a few years ago and now it's got to the point where we're saying that it's a little bit overhyped. I still love him. Turtles All the Way Down in particular is one of my favourite books. So I am very excited for this one. And that is my pick for favourite author. We're going to go back into counting. We have one book for the TBR so far. <laughs> We now have a second prompt, POC rep. So for that one, I want to look for a book that is both written by an author of colour and features a main character who is of colour themselves. So let's see, there are quite a few of those on my TBR. Let's see what I'm interested in reading in the next month. Again, I'm kind of thinking I've got a couple of things that I need to read for readathons, but I don't think any of those really fit this. So mainly that's, no, right. Leave it with me, I'll be back. So for this prompt, I am going to pick The Vanishing Cough by Britt Bennett. So this one, again, I've had on my radar for a little while. I bought it at the beginning of the year. It was on offer in Waterstone, so I thought I'd pick it up. I just haven't got around to reading it yet. This tells the story of two twins who I believe are mixed race and as they sort of get older, one of them chooses to live a life in the community that they grew up in. She has a black daughter. She is living as sort of the racial identity that she always has been but the other sister chooses to live a life where she passes as white and it's basically just about how both of their lives are affected and how they've lived very different lives depending on sort of which identity they have decided to live as and um, I think it sounds really interesting like I said I've been sort of had it on my radar for a while but just haven't picked it up yet but I was thinking about books the other day that I had and this one sort of popped up in a conversation and now I am very intrigued to read it so we have three more prompts to go, maybe some extras. I should point out I've got a purple and I've got a yellow. So, so far we shouldn't be doing any punishments for the end of this one, but you never know. Let's see how we go. So we have another prompt and that one is we have another yellow so when I said we're not going to have any punishments if we get one more yellow we will do so this one is fantasy so that works really well because I do have a fantasy book which is actually the first book that I need to read this month because it is for a read-along and I want to read it before the live show so I will go and grab that and I'll come and tell you a little bit more about it so the book I've chosen for the fantasy prompt is Wind Witch by Susan Dennard so I read Truth Witch didn't love it but 
Jade from JD Ray Reads is hosting the Witchlands along and when I was watching the live show of that I had every intention of not finishing this series and then sort of at the end of it although the live show is very very confusing and I don't know if I understood anything that happened in Truth Witch anymore judging by what was said on that it did make me want to pick up Wind Witch and Wind Witch centres around the character that I found the most intriguing from Truth Witch. So for anyone who doesn't know the story of these books, it's basically set in a world where there are different types of magic. So there are people like Truth Witches who can tell if you are speaking the truth when you speak to them. Wind Witches can control the weather. There are or Fred Witches who can see sort of the threads that that attach people to like the relationships and things like that that attach you to other people. And the series starts when Truth Witch called Safi basically ends up on the run because people are trying to, she's quite a, from a political point of view, she's quite valuable. So she ends up on the run and it's, I do, again, I can't really explain too much because that live show threw me off as to what it was actually about. But what I do know is that each book kind of centres on a different character and it tells their story moving forward. So from what I'm aware of, each book will be quite different. So I'm hoping that I like this one a little bit more. If I don't like it, then I probably won't end up finishing the series. Although I thought there were a lot more books in this series than there actually are, but I didn't realise that Sight Witch is actually a novella so that's a lot shorter so you know I'll probably end up reading the whole thing but for now I'm going to carry on with Wind Witch and this is what I'm going to pick for my fantasy pick. So we have two more definite prompts to go and watch it one of these will probably end up being a plus one so let's see and this is where it gets really simple because it's literally just going between these two. So last prompt possibly. Oh no it's not a plus one this is romance so easy one to try and figure out, romance book. I'm just trying to think, I don't have a lot of, well that's a lie, I don't have a lot of just straight up romances on my physical TBR. Um, and it depends what you class because I haven't, I've been very vague with this, it could be adult romance, it could be YA romance. I'm gonna go and see what I've got. I've got a couple on my Kindle that I could put for this but Hmm. I'm gonna go and have a peruse and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've just figured out what I'm going to read for this. Oh, actually, I'm quite excited about this now. I've figured out what I have. So this week I actually acquired a proof copy, well, a digital proof copy of, I will insert a picture here, if this gets out by Sophie Gonzalez and Kale Dietrich. I happen to be on NetGalley. It was a read now copy. I believe that was only on for like an hour or so because then when people I saw talking about afterward trying to get it it disappeared I felt very lucky and managed to get it so I have loved both of Sophie Gonzalez's first two books so I loved Only Mostly Devastated and then particularly Perfect on Paper that came out this year it's one of my favourite books I've read so far this year so I am very excited to read this one I don't even know I'm just looking the book doesn't release until December so I don't need to read it anytime soon but why not read it on this because I am very very excited to. It basically tells the story of two boys in a boy band who fall in love. Before anyone asks it is not One Direction fan fiction. that is a rumour that's going around on the internet and it isn't that but I'm very very excited to read this one so I will be reading Give This Gets Out by Sophie Gonzalez and Kale Dietrich. For the romance prompt. So these two can actually go away now. So I've taken away those two because those go back into the pile because we didn't have a plus one. What I will say though is that at the beginning of this video I said if I got the same colour three times that's when I had to read an extra one and I forgot my own rules that I haven't even told you about yet. I could have just lied and said they didn't but the original rule was if anything comes up twice and we have two yellows so that means I will be picking an extra one later on. I mean that's six books which is kind of what's normally on my TBR but I thought I'd go a little bit easy on myself because this is kind of the first time that I've done it like this. So normally I have a lot more control on my TBR and this time I haven't but it's been all right to me so far. There's nothing major. Should be okay. It's when I go into it further because what I haven't explained is that if I don't finish this, the books on the TBR then there will be punishments next month. And yeah, there's probably, I probably will end up adding more type, like punishment type things in there. I just haven't really thought what they are yet. The colour, the ones in the middle don't have colours attached to them because otherwise I'd know what colours they are as soon as I pick them up. 
but we do need to pick this last prompt and this one could be the idea of this is that you have two good so which are smaller and mood read and you have two bad which are bigger books and the one you've been putting off so we'll see how this goes i'll go back to counting and i'll be back with you soon so we are down to either a big book or a mood read let's see what we end up on so that's actually worked out pretty well because that one is we ended up with h which means that i get to have a mood read so mood read i'm not gonna be picking now because it is literally going to be i pick something that i am in the mood for i do have things in mind because there's a couple of things that i wanted to get to that i haven't put on this tbr like i want to read docile this month because that's also part of a read along is for the burned books club which is run by maddie and spoops when they announced that they were doing that for this month i thought actually i've been really wanting to read that so it might be that it might be something else again random pre-orders could turn up that i forget about so it could be one of those but we'll see the last thing we have to do though is pick that extra one for the two yellows two yellows so the way i'm going to do this is literally just take the cards that haven't been in play at all so it's nothing that's been on the board it's just the extra ones that i have left i am shuffling them and then i'm going to just pick a random card which is actually free pick so i've got a mood read and i've got a free pick mood read is different mood read is what i fancy at the time of reading it free pick i do have to decide now but it can be anything that I want it to be. So in that vein, I guess we should probably go with Docile. So as I just said, I'm reading this one for a book club and this one tells the story of, it's basically, it's a dystopian. So the Burned Book Club is all about dystopian books. And this one is in a world where if you have debts to pay off, you can pay them off by becoming basically an indentured servant. But you do have a little bit of freedom in sort of what type of servant you choose to be and the main character chooses to basically become a sex slave and, and it's sounding dark already apparently there are major major trigger warnings in this actually on the back of the book it says contains forthright depictions and discussions of rape abuse and other consent violations as well as attempted suicide and suicide ideation so be very careful if you're planning on reading this book at all but yes, yeah, so from what I gather, basic stories, he chooses to sell himself into that particular line of work. And then there is a sort of pill that you can take that makes you forget that you sort of had this life before, I'm guessing. And he chooses not to take it. So, which means that he sort of is a witness to everything that is happening to him. I agree, it doesn't sound like the happiest book in the world, but it does sound very, very interesting. It's fairly large, so it might take me a while to get through it. I think the live show won't be until June, but I just wanted to give myself enough time to get through it. It's only just under 500 pages, but the writing is fairly small and with the content in there as well. And now I just want to point out the other book from a readathon or read along that I didn't mention, which is News of Nightmares by Lady Taylor. So I mentioned in previous videos that this month I was reading straight, I'm planning on reading, haven't planning on reading because I haven't started it at the time of filming, Strange Dreamer by Lady Taylor for the Strange Along. Then I will hopefully be moving on to News of Nightmares. This one will be a reread for me. So this might end up being my mood read pick. I'm not entirely sure, but I just wanted to point out that this will be getting read at some point this month. And then also at the end of the month, there is a readathon that I hope to take part in. And that is going to be hosted by Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction. I can never say that without tripping over my words. For Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction, she is hosting the do the thing on which is basically just where you do the thing that you've been saying you're going to do you do the thing that was your reading goals at the beginning of the year one of my big reading goals at the beginning of the year was to read books that i've got in subscription boxes preferably to some of the backlist ones that i have but also to read the ones that i'm getting that month i haven't included any books from subscription boxes on this tbr so i can't say that i'll use any of those for it so during the last week of this month i should be reading a couple of those so far i've read most of the illumicrate books that i got this year apart from the latest one which is the unbroken by cl clark so i will hopefully be reading that one soon but i might save it till the end of the month and i might also save there is a box due anytime in the next sort of couple of weeks so 
maybe read that one as well and then maybe a couple of the old ones and again that might be sort of where I use my mood read pick because there's a couple on there that I am actually really in the mood to read so we'll see how it goes but for now just to wrap up on my TBR this month we have The Vanishing Calf by Britt Bennett which is covering POC rep, Wind Witch by Susan Dennard which will be covering Fantasy, Docile by Kayan Spara which will be covering Free Pick and then two that I don't have with me right now, which is If This Gets Out by Sophie Gonzalez and Kale Dietrich, which will be covering Romance, and The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green, which will be covering Favourite Author. Plus another To Be Determined Mood Read and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. So I'm not too done to buy this TBR. If This Gets Out should be a really easy read for me. I read Perfect on Paper in literally a day, especially it being the ebook as well. I read that fairly quickly. Wind Witch I had the audiobook for and I found that worked really well when I was reading Truth Witch. So I'll probably be listening to the audiobook alongside reading it physically. Muse of Nightmares I've read before, so that should hopefully be a quick read. And for the Anthropocene Reviewed, I think it's quite good because I can break that into sections and read it in between other things because it's a series of essays. The Vanishing Half doesn't look too intimidating either, it's fairly short. So it's probably just docile that's a little bit scary, but that's why it's good that I had the mood read in my back pocket because I can always just put something really short. I've just started the Wayward Children series, so I might even pick up the second one of those. I feel like this video has just been me saying, maybe I'll pick this up for mood read, maybe I'll pick this up. This is why I need a mood read because it'll literally just be on the day, like what do I want to read next? Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff below. I hope you enjoyed this TBR game. I think I'm still working on making it a little bit more exciting and also working on the filming setup for it. But if you have any suggestions on how I can sort of tweak it a little bit, what you want to see, if you have any suggestions for prompts on there, there are, I do have like a fair pile of them. So there are plenty on there and it does cover all bases. I feel like this month, in the first month, I picked out like the really easy ones of romance and fantasy, but there's some fun ones in there, like ones where I watch somebody else's TBR game and pick one of their prompts. There's ones where it's a reading YouTuber's favorite book. There's ones where my dog gets involved in picking the book. So there's plenty of things on there, but if you do have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below and I will add them and we'll see how I get on with these this month and see if I have to read any extras next month. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.